the very first years and welcome to your TPET um, Lego introduction. So some of you, the distant students, might have already received your Lego bricks and we will be giving all the students on the different campuses also a set of six bricks. Now let me tell you a bit more about what the, this is about and what you will be doing this year. So for interest's sake, um, the whole concept of six bricks was developed by Brent Hutchinson. He's a South African and what he realized is that a lot of our schools don't necessarily have good resources and resources is quite expensive. So he developed a six bricks curriculum, one could say, where you actually just have six Lego bricks and then you can do, for instance, mathematics, um, literacy and physical activities and a whole lot of activities with these six bricks. So last year we started this initiative and the Lego Foundation is actually sponsoring this set of six bricks for each and every one of you. And what we're going to do this year, because we're going to start first of all in this first semester, and in the first semester you're going to use these six bricks to actually look at it as attributes and skills and things that you think a teacher might need. So you might say, for instance, blue is emotions because you feel a bit overwhelmed at this stage. Um, yellow might brick, brick might be new ideas or innovative think thinking or lesson plan. And what we want you to do in the first semester is actually build a tower that you think a teacher needs or a tower that the skills and attributes and feelings that a teacher needs. And what you're going to do is actually build it. And the reason why we're asking you to build it is when we start making lists on paper, you only write the list out and then the list is there. You don't move it around. But if you construct something, then you can actually move it around. Say, for instance, emotions as is at this stage a very important part of your journey as a teacher. Or say, for instance, computer skills you think might be more important. So you put that on top. And this is how you will actually construct what you think is important for a teacher. And then you're going to write a reflective um, paragraph on why you think after looking at safe standards for a teacher as well. So that's what we're going to do in the first semester with six bricks. Then, also in this semester, we are going to travel to each and every campus. And the distance students, I'm going to show you some of these um, activities that you can do. You can also go, as pointed out in your portfolio, download the app for Six Bricks. It's open source, doesn't cost you anything, and you can already look at some of these activities that is done in schools. And then we're going to do training with you guys and show you how you can use these six little bricks to actually teach and think differently about teaching and use a play-based approach or problem-solving approach on how to think about different things. Because let's say you might think that this is only for the intermediate phase. But let's turn it around and take it to the senior phase. You can, for instance, tell your students, all right, you have six bricks. We need to get from one side of a river to the other side. What will you construct? Will it be a boat? Will it be a bridge? Will it be stairs? And why? Another thing that are very good for communication skills that we're going to do with you is, for instance, you can tell the children, all right, we're starting with a, with a light blue, blue brick. And then you take a green and you need to cover, let's say, three studs. And a student then needs to manipulate these bricks and actually make sure that he or she covers three bricks. And then the journey starts. And then I might tell you, all right, take the red brick and now you need to cover one stud. So now you and your group or you and the kids need to navigate how to best construct so that it not only stays upright, but that you covered one stud, for instance. So, the, like I said, there's, there's really a lot of activities, and you will receive these bricks and the ideas for you to think differently about teaching than what you were accustomed to in your schools. And ha see how six little bricks or other resources that you might find through the, your coming journey, through your journey to become a teacher, and how these resources can be manipulated and actually used as a teaching source for children. So if you find your bricks, don't run them away. This will be a journey that you start with six bricks in your first year. Some of your lecturers might use it in their subjects. 
but we're going to show you how to use these six books not only as a tool to realize what you as a teacher are, but also how you can use them in a school. Because if you think of if you're, if yourself as a good teacher, then a good teacher would be solid. A good teacher would be a block. But when you start teaching and when you go out for teaching practice, for instance, something might happen. You might realize, I don't have the language skills that I need for this school. I don't, for instance, have the technical skills for this school. I might realize that I'm not as familiar as I thought with how to do um, class management. And now your solid brick is not a solid brick anymore. And when you build it like this, then you can see, okay, where I need to make changes. And then as a teacher, you go and you say, all right, I need to learn how to do class, class management. I need to ask my subject it what I need to do for class, class management. I need to implement what I learned. And as you go along, your brick will become a solid block again. And as you as a teacher will develop, and you as a teacher will become a much better teacher if you realize where the problems are and you construct it or you change it until you're a solid brick. So please do enjoy your bricks. Um, this is a very a, a good initiative from the university. We are the only university that's, that's actually doing this, and the government is rolling it out in three provinces, the Gauteng, um, Free State, and the East, um, Eastern Cape. So as a university, we are already preparing you for, you might find six bricks, as this is a government initiative to start using these in our schools. So please do enjoy six bricks. I hope you will enjoy it. And realize that teaching is not only standing in front of a class, but maybe sometimes thinking outside of the block. Do enjoy.